hey guys welcome back now let's go and work on our file where we're going to be editing the form from so what you need to be having you need to be having either WAMP or exam server on your PC so we shall go to the root directory where I installed this exam is this one open it go to the HT docs and I'm going to drag this file it's for bootstrap because we are going to be creating some simple form I'm not going to be writing any CSS I'm just going to be using classes for bootstrap to design that form so I'm going to drag this form here this folder sorry and I'm going to open it inside let's first rename it because this one is going to be some contact page I'm going to call it contact us so that's the folder now inside I'm going to create a file and this one's going to be contact.php since we are running on a server click yes and this is how it will be appearing now go and search for your exam control panel so write exam and they'll show you exam control panel start it and this is how it will be looking so for me mine it starts automatically but yours you will see such indicators like start here at the top so these first two they are the most important parts we want to be running so you can either click start and yeah it will start running because mine is so it started automatically because that's how I set it to be now we are sure that that's working now open your favorite text editor where you're going to be editing this from so even if we cross this one so I'm using sublime text and I'm going to go to file open folder and I will navigate to exam this one go to the HT docs and I'm going to open this folder called contact us so these are the files that are inside contact us page so I'm going to click on this one contact page contact.php and I create some simple HTML document and this is how it's going to be looking so the title will be contact us so I'm going to go to the page I'm going to go to this URL and I say localhost localhost forward slash contact underscore so this is the folder where you are saving your work from where we save the file from and say forward slash contact dot php so this is the file we want to access and we shall be able to see in the title contact us so we are in that same what same file so let us create a simple form. Let us link these files into the head section. Let me not consume a lot of space. Let me put this on the same line. So let us link our bootstrap for creating this form. Link. And we are going to say CSS. So this is the folder we are accessing. And inside this folder, there is a file called bootstrap. Dot mini. Dot CSS. I guess that's the only stuff we need. Even if you don't include JavaScript, because we are not going to work anything with JavaScript. So I'll create a div with the class of container. So in case you are confused with bootstrap, I'm going to leave the links 
for different tutorials on Bootstrap and you learn how you can create simple layout forms using Bootstrap. And I'm going to create a div here with a class of row. So I'm just making a grid system for our form. It's going to be centered. So we are going to give this one a class of call column, short for column. On large screens, it's going to take up four. And I'm going to create another one. So the form is going to be in the middle. We create another grid system here. And yeah, let us now start styling our form. We say it's going to be taking the username label and we say enter name enter name and the input field is going to be text and the name will be user so this is what we shall be targeting using PHP and we are going to add classes like form sorry form dash control I'm going to copy this the second time And this one we are going to say enter email and the name will be email from control then the text area for the text so this one we are going to say enter message so it's a contact us page and we are going to change this to text area and close it this side so let us refresh and see how it looks so this is how our form is looking the name email and text area so that's the power with bootstrap it gives you some little bit of styling now what we are going to do is we are going to wrap this inside some div that I'm going to target using a little bit of CSS. Oh, what we have forgot also, <laughs> that's the biggest mistake. I've. So, we wrap them inside the form. Because this is what we shall be submitting to the database. It has to be inside the form. So, this div we close this div from here so this if I click here you see it is highlighting with this one and I'm going to call this one UI user interface so what the user will be seeing so for this tutorial we are going to be designing the form and say hash UI we create the style tag style then we select the div with the ID of UI and we say margin top. We are going to give it 100 pixels. Refresh the page. And yeah, it's some, it left some big space up here. Then let us put the submit button here. below the text area we shall say input type is submit the name can also be submit and let us put a class of btn btn dash danger which will be red And this is how it's going to be looking now let us make it block so that it covers the full width and we say btn dash block 
so they, these are all bootstrap classes we are adding and it will be occupying that space now let us leave some space here by putting the break tag in between yeah and this is our form we have created let's also add these placeholders and we are going to say your username we add another placeholder here and say your email we add another placeholder here say your message refresh and we shall get this placeholder in these forms so that's it guys we are finished to style the contact us page now in the next tutorial i'm going to be showing you how we are submitting data into the database and the next tip if you don't want this form to be scalable what you need to do is go to your styling and say text area resize and refresh and it will not be scalable so guys stick around and in the next video i'm going to be showing you how we are submitting data from these forms to the database peace subscribe like the video share them on different social medias